course, we have a couple of legends in our midst, and we have Anthony Daly beside me, local Cher Castle man. Oh, hey, <laughs> hey, Sheila. That's great. It's great to let me in for a night. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I obviously live back to West now, so. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's more true. music back there as well, actually. Yeah. <laughs> as we can hear from the music that's yeah, around Yeah, fabulous, fabulous now. Brilliant. Now, great you to have see strong the likes of PJ and, the, and these lads, Chris Roney, and, you know, unreal, unreal stuff. And you know them all as well, don't you? Well, I'd listen to them all. Uh, if you don't listen to Owen O'Neill in the morning on your way to training, sure, it will set you up <laughs> badly for the day. <laughs> now, you have strong links to the FLA. Yeah, I guess... Um, been lucky enough, uh, I have the hairstyle of the Keens as well now, the dailies are all full, full heads of hair, but my, uh, my grandfather, Jack Keane, would have played drums for the Tully Kelly Band for years and years, uh, as far away as Carnegie Hall and uh, my uncle Sean, and just three years ago, uh, my daughter Orla won an All-Ireland set dancing up in Cavan, uh, what a weekend, uh, it took us a while to get back down to the normal for that as well, <laughs> it was great fun, it was... It was, I don't know, was it as good as this, but it was, it, was, it was good, it was good. And of course, I mean, there's real sense of pride in winning a FLA, isn't there? There is, it's massive, it's, a, it's, it's the All-Ireland, I suppose, that's the thing about yeah. it, you know, we, and we felt like that actually in Cavan, that we celebrated like that as well, of course, we, a couple of my, my fellow fathers and myself and, and the women went off too, I think, they, they officially had a meal, but we, we, we adjourned straight to the local, I think, and... Uh, it was fantastic for the, the four boys and four girls to, to win the All-Ireland. And, uh, you know, that's, that's the huge for ourselves, I suppose, growing up, to us to win a hurling All-Ireland of some sorts. And, uh, you know, it's the equivalent. And we see how massive it is here now. I can't really remember 77, to be honest, no one brought me. I don't know why. <laughs> but uh, what fun, what crack. I haven't actually got past the Clarecastle Clubhouse here. I'm, look, I'm lucky to have the band on. <laughs> well, it's been just such fun. And uh, we get tennis now at the weekend. And, be brilliant. And Ennis have pulled out all the stuff. So the place is looking amazing. And Clare Castle is looking amazing. Yeah, unbelievable, Sheila. You know, Clare Castle has got a major facelift over the last, you know, year or so. And uh, we're all so proud of the village here. Don't live here anymore, but always be a magpie, you know, all your <laughs> life. And uh, yeah, no, just thrilled that, that, that Clare Castle is going so well and that uh, we can contribute so much to the Flacciolna here because it's, it's, it's massive. To be so close to us, yet we like a bit of distance as well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now, obviously, you have two All Irelands. One, would you equate maybe the buzz of the Flack on the Heron with winning an All Ireland, or the atmosphere after winning an All Ireland? Uh, I suppose, Sheila, you, you have to you have to grow up with what you grow up with, and I suppose here, hurling was always first, and uh, I suppose when you came back with a hurling All Ireland, that was always going to be your number one, but. We always knew the music was was huge, you know, uh, for so many people in the village and, and that. So, yeah, I, I guess there are similarities, but I have to say the hurling was first. Gamina Mahat Bantmi Aspahan Salim. Gamina.